Hello, my name is Laura Alford. I'm one of the instructors for Engineering 101 at the University of Michigan. And we know that probably a lot of you have a lot of questions about how we're going to be teaching this course in the fall. So we put together this little mid-August update to send out to you. And when we know more information, we will let you know, probably closer to when the semesters are going to start. But the highlights of how we're gonna teach for the fall are these. So the entire class is gonna be remote, so no matter where you are in the world, you'll be able to fully participate. The lectures are going to be asynchronous individual work. Um, there's no textbook to buy. Everything will be provided to you via these interactive lecture worksheets that we're putting together. Um, labs, these are going to be synchronous via Zoom. You'll be put into a group of four and you will work together in that lab group. And, there's, and then there will be one of our staff members will come and join the meeting and answer questions and things like that. Uh, office hours, which you've probably heard are a really big component of Engine 101. Uh, we had a lot of success at the end of last semester using Zoom to have synchronous appointments that you can sign up for. That worked really well, so we're going to do that again. And then we also have an online forum. We use Piazza for this, and so that's all, all handles all of our asynchronous uh, question and answer stuff. So that's if you've talked to students that have taken this in the past, Piazza is basically Piazza. Um, similarly, the projects are going to be pretty much the same as we've done in the past. So those are all done online anyway through an auto grader and stuff. So that's, um, again, similar to what we've done in the past. The exams, and we're going to start doing some biweekly assessments this term. These will be open book, open notes, and online. So as long as you've got an internet connection, which you need anyway for the class, um, that's the deal with that. Um, and then we have some additional support via the eCoach online platform. So as the highlights, let me kind of walk you through what might be a typical week. So on Sunday evenings, that's when e-coach things will be due. If there are things, these are like, you know, a little like, you know, how are you doing preparing for an exam, like that kind of stuff. Um, on Monday, there will be one set of these interactive lecture worksheets. Those will be due. And then on Tuesday, there will be another set. So instead of having to go to lectures on Mondays and Wednesdays, you'll have these two interactive lecture worksheets to do. When we get to the point in the semester where projects start being due, then all of the project assignments are always going to be due on a Tuesday. Then sometime on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, your lab group will meet. So even if you signed up for a lab that, uh, like on Wolverine Access, says that you're meeting on Monday and Tuesday, that won't be the case. Um, we will handle rescheduling you into time that you can meet. More about that in a minute. Um, and then on Friday, if it's a week where we are doing a bi-weekly assessment, those will be due on Friday evenings. And then Saturday, you'll make sure you have your lab worksheet turned in by then so that we're ready to do it all again the next week. All right, so what are these lecture worksheets that I keep talking about? Um, so we are not going to do any in-person lectures. We think that we can deliver that content to you much better and asynchronously with this individual work. So we've prepared a bunch of short videos and interactive exercises that you will go through um, online with these interactive worksheets. And there, there's an example kind of looks like this. Um, this is actually something we've been thinking about doing for a while now. So this is a good excuse to actually sit down and do it. Um, we will require completion for all of these. This is mostly to make sure that everybody is staying on track with the course. Historically, when students start to struggle, it's because somehow they've gotten behind and then now it's hard to get caught up. So we're going to try and keep everybody moving forward. And we also know that it can be very difficult to stay motivated right now. So this is part of our, our way to keep everybody motivated. Um, they are intended for you to complete on your own, but there will have uh, lots of opportunities to get help. There'll be walkthroughs for all of the exercises, and then we'll also have everything with the office hours and uh, piazza stuff so you can get lots of help from course staff all right labs so this will be a little bit different than his, than we've done in the past because of everything being remote but we're going to put everybody into a group of four and you will meet synchronously via zoom so you'll want to have both audio and video enabled so that you can fully talk to people or you get to know people that are in your lab and things like that um, so we, again, like I said, we're going to find out when people can meet versus when our staff can meet. And then we will do probably a very ugly and frustrating matching system to put everybody together, make the lab groups work out. But just like you had the lecture uh, content stuff was due on Mondays and Tuesdays, that will then prepare you for the labs, which will happen sometime Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. 
right? When you do the lab, it kind of it'll kind of look like this. So you will get on the Zoom call, and the other three people in your group will join. And you'll get all settled, and then every lab week there will be a collaborative worksheet. So they're hosted on Google Docs. You make a copy, and then you work together to complete the worksheet and do all the exercises and things like that. Um, so that will take kind of about an hour, and then we'll have one of our staff meeting or sorry staff members, which would be either an IA, which is an undergraduate teaching assistant, or a GSI, which is supposed to be a graduate teaching assistant, um, join in for the last 30 minutes and they can answer questions or they can clarify code. You could be like, hey, we typed this in and it works, but we don't know, we don't know why or how. Can you help us? Or they, they're there just to help, you know, get you through the course, talk about what's going on, share funny memes, like whatever you want to do. Um, but you will have the same IA or GSI the whole semester, so it'll give you a chance to really get to know somebody that's on the staff. And we had just the most wonderful student staff. I just love it. Um, what you see here on the right-hand side on the slide, uh, this is an example of a lab worksheet from EECS 280 in the spring term. And that course was taught entirely remote. Nobody was even on campus. And they had a lot of success with labs in this format. So we are going to steal that format with their permission and, repl and replicate it for Engine 101. Okay. So I mentioned Piazza as a forum for posting questions and getting answers. Uh, we've had a lot of success with Piazza in the past. Uh, it works really well. Um, the answers can come from both the instructors or students, and oftentimes you will get good answers from students faster than you might be able to get them from the instructors. Uh, and, so, and, it's, and it's a way for us to uh, try to make our community, even though we're all separated, we can't come in and hang out together in person in the office hours room. Um, so you can post anonymously on Piazza, which I know is very helpful because then it's like, well, I don't know if I'll put my name with this. We'll know who you are in case we need to re reach out separately. But if you prefer to post anonymously to everybody in the class, you can totally do that. Yeah. So office hours, as I mentioned before, uh, when we switched to the emergency remote teaching last semester, we switched and we did this, hey, you know, I don't want to have people sitting in a Zoom call for three hours waiting for somebody to come and help them. So we hurriedly came up with a system where you can sign up for an appointment. And this works really, really well. So we're going to do it again. You can log on to the office hours queue uh, in the morning and you can say, oh, you know, I can meet at 340 today. And so you can just sign up and then all you got to do is make sure you're back in your Zoom meeting room at that time. So you can go and do other things while you wait, which is really, really wonderful. Uh, we will have have lots and lots of office hour appointments throughout the week. Um, you can come to any of us on staff and there's something like 17 people on staff this semester. So lots of opportunities to come and get help or just talk to us, get advice about Michigan and transitioning to college. All right. So projects, uh, we really like our projects. They are very engineering based. Um, you can do them individually or you can use a partner. You can work with a partner. Um, and th this is the same as before. So again, if you've talked to somebody that's taken the course already, it's really similar. We have a web-based auto grader. You submit your files and it checks to see if they have the right output. And it can give you some feedback. And here's just some example of what the, the, the interface looks like here. Okay. So exams and assessments, um, the general format is that they will be open book and open notes. Uh, they're all online. They have to be done individually. They're our major source of individual assessment in the course. Um, and all the assessments fall under the honor code, just like everything else does in this course. And we're still working out the, 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 the nitty gritty details for hosting the assessments. We will let you know more once we decide what those are. Um, but some key points in case you're wondering, um, the assessments will be available during a flexible window throughout the day so we can accommodate you if you are not in Ann Arbor's time zone. We know that there are people that won't be there. So we, we got you. It'll all work out. Um, once you start, the assessment will be timed, but we will make sure to give enough time for everybody to reasonably finish. So as long as you are organized and you have been staying on top of things in the course, you will not have, I, you shouldn't at any rate have trouble finishing the exam. Um, you will have the opportunity to take some practice exams. So whatever format we end up choosing, whether it's a Canvas quiz or some other platform, we will give you some practice exams so you can go through and you can practice how it works and your timing and things like that. Um, we intend to provide any exam accommodations uh, per documentation from the SSD office, just like we would during a regular exam. So if you have documentation that you need uh, time and a half on exam, just you, you will get a Google form to fill out and submit that and we'll bring all that together. So we are very happy to make any of those accommodations and anything else that, that comes up. It's like, hey, if I can do this, I will be able to take this exam in a better frame of mind and you will get a better assessment. So just let us know. 
Um, finally, eCoach. So Engine 101 is a really big course, and even though there are a lot of staff, there's still more students than there are staff. And so we use this eCoach uh, uh, support platform, and it is uh, what's called tailored support. So you take some initial uh, beginning of term survey stuff, and you kind of tell the system a little bit about yourself, and then it can take all these things about the course and really tailor it for you. So you get the kind of encouragement and check-in that really works for you, because not everybody reacts the same way to advice and encouragement, right? Um, so it's our intent is we can we're trying to take the support that we would give you if it was just me versus you watching this video and you are my only students. Uh, what would I tell you and do check ins and stuff like that. So we're trying to replicate that level of one to one support using eCoach. Yeah. So again, like I said, there's lots more detail to come once the semester starts and we get kind of everything sort of finalized. Um, normally I would say, I would leave an email address and say, please contact us with questions, <laughs> except that we're all really busy trying to get all that stuff, last minute stuff finalized and get everything ready to kick off. So I'm gonna ask you to hold your questions until we push out a lot more information to you at the beginning of the semester and hopefully that will answer even more of your questions. At that point, once Piazza is open, you can ask us all the questions that you want. So in the meantime, try and enjoy the last few days of your summer break and absolutely welcome to Michigan. We are so excited to work with you this semester.